Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I present a concept test for a concept that I figure people must have thought of before but I haven't seen it implemented before and I took the first steps to it with the LexPod. Uh, well, uh, Lex is sort of a mini starship if you hadn't seen that video and the idea with Lex is it wouldn't have an IVA and we would have a hatch, but we would have decks inside. So it has two decks and the Kerbals would just sit in command chairs in it and they would be able to get out of the command chairs and float around inside the ship. And of course we don't want that on. So we could just put the seats in and they could occupy it as necessary. So that was a good idea, I thought. But the question is, could we expand upon this idea by having a docking port that Kerbals could pass through. Now, that's what we have here, but uh, with the docking ports that I've created, I found that they don't like to be pre-attached in the VAB, so that's why we have a stack separator, but let me uh, separate this off. What we have is a hollow docking port. Now, you see this solid bit, but that's actually a hatch on this portion, the pass-through station core. So I'll open the hatch. You can see it's hollow and it really is hollow. There's no colliders in the midst of it. And what we want to do is put command chairs inside, just like we had in the Lex, and have the Kerbals get up and just go right through the hatch. They can open the hatch. And this will dock to another module and they could just pass right through to the other module. And we will never have to deal with IVAs again. Now, that I don't think there's a way to have like the altimeter and the nav ball appear in this view the way they do in IVA. So that's a one flaw. But you can see the possibilities here. But we have to test that this works out. So we've got uh, two seats in there. Oh, incidentally, uh, these modules are created in halves. So actually, uh, see, that's a half. And that's to allow, make it easier to put stuff in, right? And also so that we can open each hatch independently at each end. Um, a docking node is going to be complicated. Uh, I think you'll just have to have all the hatches open simultaneously. The hatches do have colliders on them, so the Kerbals will bump into them if they're closed. And yeah, so that is the idea. And I want to just, I'm not going to launch it. Uh, that's unnecessary for the purpose of our test. I just intend to cheat it into orbit and then we'll test it like that. I won't waste your time. So this time I won't waste your time. So here we have the stack separator and this end doesn't have a docking port and it's a closed hatch but we've got RCS on here. What we don't have is food but we do have UDMH and NTO for the RCS thrusters and so we're going to uh, separate off the stack separator and then dock them together to see that that part is legit and then uh, have a Kerbal go through. So let's just make sure our two hatches are closed first. Okay, I made it very simply. I didn't make any interiors yet until I find out that this works properly. I want to make sure that I don't waste my time. Uh, we'll just have Valentina go into one command seat. I don't know which one it's going to be and then so uh, let's take it outside. Okay, uh, so here we are outside, but we're just going to go ahead and set orbit here. We don't have any food on board right now. I was thinking of making a big spam tin inside for <laughs> to represent our food supply. Otherwise, the outside spheres contain the water and oxygen and also the UDMH and NTO. So we don't have any solar panels right now, so our electric charge is depleting quite rapidly. Uh, I want it in daylight. Okay, so it is in daylight. And now I'm going to go ahead with the stack separation. Um, let's activate the RCS thrusters first. Okay, now stack separation. Okay, so we need both of them to sidestep the stack separator. The forward and backward facing thrusters are angled. Uh, at a 40 degree angle so that they don't blast another module. Okay, we got connection and docking. So docking wise it works. It docked together. Now where's Valentina? 
He's in one of the seats on this side. Okay. So we've got kill rotation on. That's probably helpful. Valentina can... She doesn't really have a whole lot of food, water, and oxygen, does she? Um, let's try and transfer some water and oxygen, at least. That's something you're going to have to remember to do. <laughs> you could easily kill your Kerbals if they don't get the necessary stuff. And of course, the EVA propellant won't replenish like it does normally. Okay, so leave seat. Food's depleted, but that's fine. Okay. Um, RCS on. And uh, there is an open hatch option. Let's open the hatch. Okay. But then there's the hatch on the opposite side. Can't seem to access that hatch like this. Hmm. Yeah, we're we're sort of right there. Let me see if I can from the actual part. Open hatch. Okay. All right. So can Valentina go through? Yep. Valentina has gone through. And can open the hatch on this side. And just like that, who needs an airlock anymore? Well, we should make a special airlock module or something, but out she goes. Seamless, if you will. Uh, though, there's sort of flickering going on. I don't know what that is. I don't know if there's any complex side effects to doing this. Hmm. Oh, there is a flickering going on on, on the right-hand side there. But yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, well, that, that's all I wanted to test. Uh, I don't. I think this is a good idea. I don't know if somebody else has done it before, though. It doesn't seem particularly hard. It's just the docking port has to not have a collider in the way. Oh, we might as well test that the hatch d does present... Uh, Collider when it's closed, of course. Yep, can't go through. So, proper collider there. And the modules are four meters in diameter right now. Of course, we could have bigger stations, but I don't think we could have too much of a smaller one because we couldn't get the camera in very easily. It'd be clipping through the hull and such. So, how about the hatch on the other end? While I'm here. Should test her getting whacked by it, but that's a nice view of the Earth. And out she is. Okay. Well, there you have it. That's the idea. I don't know what else to say about it, but I'm going to work on the interiors since this works. I didn't want to put any extra effort into the interiors unless I knew that the... That's the a Amazon, isn't it? I think so. Anyway, uh, unless I knew for sure that this part worked. So I think this is useful. I think I'm going to get some fun out of this. We'll see. Okay. Um... I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to link these modules in the video description. Sure, why not? I'll link the modules in the video description. You're just going to have to be careful how you put the command chairs and, and all that business. It's just two parts. It's the docking port and one of these pass-through station cores, and you need to put two of them together to make it work. And keep in mind what it does and does not have. I have no idea whether it works in stock. So anyway, that's the idea. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.